Thomas was alone. Until episode 2. Thomas was alone is a game about squares and rectangles. For instance, Thomas himself is powered by these yellow glowy rectangles. Collect 100 to earn an extra life. Watch out though, if you get hit, you'll drop them all. Then, if you get hit without any rectangles, you'll die. And death is for squares. Speaking of squares, I think Thomas is supposed to be a red rectangle? I don't really get it though. He has red shoes, but those are more hexagonal than rectangular. He does have an orange rectangle buddy though. If you want to get through the levels, you'll need his help. For instance, if you stand on the ground and call for his help, they'll transform into a giant square. Now I'd like to turn to Indie Luchador himself, Eric Lee Lewis, for some insight. Let's hear what his favorite aspect of the game was. The fact that the narrator just talks about those boxes as if they're people. And he knows that he's just talking about boxes, but yet he makes you feel like they're real. Like, I had a genuine hatred for Chris, and Chris isn't even real, he's just an orange square. It's an investment in completely normal shapes. I think that's the, the part that everybody loves about it, and I think that it's really f***ing amazing that, you know, it's like, oh yeah, f she thinks she's a superhero because she can swim. <laughs> and it's like, you know, she doesn't think that because she's not a she, she's just a big blue square. That's more buoyant. <laughs> 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 Jesus, what's wrong with me? <laughs> Are you calling her fat? Um, yeah, yeah, I guess. She's large and in charge. It's strange that Thomas Was Alone relies on the cooperation of multiple quadrangles, but there isn't a co-op mode. You've got to control all the characters and make them work together on your own. Or, wait, never mind. Uh, there it is. It's in the menu. It's, it's in the footage I recorded for this review. You see it in the menu? It's right there. It's also strange that Thomas Was Alone has a semblance of challenge and a puzzlery but neither aspect is really exploited. I mean, if you get hit by an enemy, you lose all your rectangles, sure, but you can just pick them up again and you're good to go. Instead, the point of the game's level designs is to highlight the emotional experiences of its characters. For instance, when Thomas is navigating Gray's death egg, the camera turns with him as he rounds corners. This shows that Thomas is... Emotionally adept at rounding corners, having done it several times throughout the game. Also, for all you Easter egg hunters out there, collect all seven Chaos Quadrangles. Quadrangles. And you can do something really cool. I'm not gonna spoil it though. That was not actually a review for Thomas Was Alone!